Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this week's episode, it's gonna be a relatively short one, but we're gonna be heading down to the wedge in the San Rafael Swell of Utah, so stay tuned. The wedge is situated on BLM land, about 20 miles east of Castledale, in Emory County of central Utah. It's about two and a half to three hours drive time from Salt Lake City. We've been coming here regularly for the past 15 years for its stunning scenery overlooking the Little Grand Canyon of the San Rafael River, over a thousand feet below the rim. Prime boondocking right on the rim and the vertigo inducing mountain biking along the Goodwater Trail. In fact, the very first episode of Grand Adventure was filmed here. With cold autumn weather already prevailing at Utah's higher elevations, this is the perfect place to bring my sister Lauren for a taste of RV camping in October. We're camped only about 10 yards back from the edge. This is not a place to sleepwalk. The recognition and popularity of the wedge has grown exponentially in recent years. It wasn't that long ago that you'd pretty much have this spot to yourself. But now, if you're not here by Thursday night or Friday morning at the latest, forget about getting one of these boondocking spots predetermined by the BLM for the weekend. From our campsite at the wedge, it's only a stone's throw to the top of Buckhorn Draw, where we're going to take a short half mile hike to see Ruin Arch. But along the way, I want to show Lauren the Morrison Knudsen Tunnels, better known as the MK Tunnels. In 1948, the U.S. Department of Defense's search for naturally occurring bomber defenses brought it here to the San Rafael Swell at what was officially known as Buckhorn Wash Underground Explosive Test Site No. 8. Several horizontal shafts were created by the Morrison Knudsen Construction Company, after which the rock stability was tested by detonating explosives above them on the ground. Because granite fared better than this Navajo sandstone, NORAD and other military facilities were ultimately built in Colorado instead.
But now we're back to our objective, Ruin Arch. The short trail to Ruin Arch is primarily flat, save for the steep 118-foot scramble up to an alcove adjacent to the arch itself. I've driven by this spot countless times without even realizing that it was here. And Ruin Arch is tiny as far as Utah's rock arches go. But there's a small ruin within the alcove and an interesting petroglyph that looks like a half ladder, half man on the inside of the arch. Just a few miles further down the road sits the Buckhorn Draw Pictograph Panel, a collection of Barrier Canyon-style rock art dating back thousands of years, along with a few petroglyphs from the only slightly more recent Fremont culture. Beyond the pictograph panel, the Buckhorn Draw Road continues its slow thousand foot descent to the San Rafael River, along the floor of the Little Grand Canyon. Along the way, the surrounding cliff walls continue to grow in height. This was one area reportedly used by Butch Cassidy and his Wild Bunch gang to hide from the law after pulling off nearby heists. The road reaches the river at the San Rafael Bridge where adjacent to the modern bridge currently in use sits the original bridge built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1937 to open the first direct auto route between the towns of Castledale and Green River. Until the 1990s, it was the only bridge that crossed the San Rafael River. Another thing that I've never visited in this part of Castle Country is the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry. Sometime while I was sleeping in 2019, the quarry became the newly christened Jurassic National Monument, containing the densest concentration of Jurassic era dinosaur fossils ever found. Well over 15,000 bones have already been excavated here since 1927, with many thousands more awaiting excavation and study. All of these bones belong into different species, including 46 different examples of Allosaurus, have been found indistinctly mixed together. It has therefore been hypothesized that this strong concentration of mixed fossilized bones is due to a predator trap that once existed on this site. The National Monument site is rather small, encompassing a few acres of hiking trails and the dig site that's contained within these two metal buildings. Towards the end of our American Heartland Tour 2020, 
we discovered that the wall structure that supports both of the slides in our 2016 Evo were beginning to fail. And the situation has only gotten worse over the past several weeks. We're the first people to admit that we've beaten the living snot out of this trailer and logged many miles towing it behind our Toyota Tundra. But that's still no reason for this to happen to a four-year-old travel trailer. We're beyond disappointed in Forest River for not designing adequate structure in these walls. And we're facing yet another costly repair. Quite frankly, we're just about over sinking more and more money into repairing things that repeatedly fail in this rig. Patricia and I have some serious thinking to do. I'm just grateful that Lauren and I are able to coax the slides to retract for our drive back to Salt Lake City. So as you can see, we've got some problems that we need to deal with. We've got a couple of options available and we'll share with you what we decide over the next week or two of Grand Adventure. So if you are not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time to go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the lower right corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you come along on every Grand Adventure every Wednesday evening. Now we would be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. And down below, it's extremely important to us that if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, why not leave us a comment? Because we always love to hear from you after each episode. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.